I have a large family. Eventually, I decided to leave home. Law, what's wrong with her? We're trained to spot anomalies. From when I was barely born, they could all tell. My form was puny, my grace dim. I seemed half dead. Their forms were multi-faced, multi-limbed, lion-headed, but where snouts should have been, falcon beaks protruded. But the wings of my brothers and sisters were always a point of pride. Do you have hidden doubt? Are you trying to hide your face from God? Law, don't be weird about this. We were all so codependent on each other. On Earth, you'd be alone. I wanted to do something. I'm going to the store. Just for a couple of minutes. We don't have any milk. I wanted some cereal and we don't have any milk. A fresh start. Why would you do this to us? We love you. Oh, I would. Will you always be able to find me? Talk to us. 
Talk to us. It was always the same. Our little talks. You aren't happy for me? Why do you seek out misery and destruction? Why do you fear his truth and radiance, XD? I literally don't. Truth and radiance just manifest along a spectrum of experiences? All experience can be traced to his mind. We aren't even having this conversation. kind of new around here. Cool. I just moved to Michigan last year. Oh, I've never been to Michigan. You're in Michigan right now. Oh. Look, do you need a ride or something? Kind of a comfort thing. Cool. So, do you think all sentient life is prone to suffering? What? Like, is all of this intentional? Are you a lost soul or something? I just moved out. Hmm. Do you want some coffee? Smells amazing. Maybe you should introduce yourself around. If you feel out of place, the best thing to do is get to know people. Huh. Try some coffee.
met you once at an olive garden. don't need to explain me. They showed me what it felt like. All of that power. Heaven's body. I don't know. What, are you disappointed? I guess... I'm just unsure. I don't think I'll ever know if I did the right thing by falling. I liked your dancing earlier.
Growing up, my parents would always say, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? I would always roll my eyes and respond defensively. I never actually thought the phrase would ever apply. Who is that? I think this is Amy Schumer, who is, oh, well, no, it's just a <laughs> woman who looks like Amy Schumer. It's such a marketplace now, like it's so, it's like, so like, based around, yeah, it's like, So, are you going to do it? Do what? Jump. Of course she is. We all own it. Right? She can do whatever she wants. It's her choice. That girl needs to loosen up a little bit. <laughs> That's the thing about choice. You have to actually make a decision. I've made decisions before, sure, but never one as big as this. I'm used to being in control <laughs> of everything. I like to plan ahead, I follow the rules, I drive the speed limit. That's just who I am. I don't know how to be anything else. Sometimes I'm scared if I loosen up a little, I won't be able to rein it in. I can help you loosen up. I mean, <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. God, I wish you would stop overthinking everything. Take a leap. I know you want to. <sighs> oh. It was just a dream. Hey, what are you doing out here so early? It's just you. Ouch. Oh, you know what I mean. So, 
didn't answer my question. What are you doing out here so early? Thinking. You know, the usual. But I could ask the same of you. Just taking a walk. Right. At 7 a.m. like a whack job. Says the girl getting up at the ass crack of dawn to think. You know, it's okay to not think every once in a while. Yeah, I know. It just scares me. Fear is the body's way of telling you that you're alive. Sure, Mr. Hallmark card. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you look sad. That obvious, huh? Probably just because I know you so well. What is it? Don't worry about me. I can handle it. But thank you for asking. She reminds me of fire. Beautiful. Strong with the potential to be something incredible. But that's the thing about fire. If you suffocate it, you'll put out the flame. Second cousin, puppy, neighbor just died. I need to breathe. I used to call you after a night out. I'd say, I miss you, baby. I miss you, sweetheart. I thought about you all night, Katie. I thought about you all night, Angel. I thought about you at the pregame. I thought about you at the club. I thought about you when your favorite song came on. I thought about you when I opened my phone to that photo of us <laughs> at the family picnic in September.
I thought about you when she walked onto the dance floor. I thought about you when she sat down next to me. I thought about you when her silk skirt swung around the middle of her thighs. I thought about you when I saw the skid marks on her kneecaps. I thought about you when I asked her where they were from. I thought about you when she said she liked the way my lips moved when I talked. I thought about you when I blushed in response. I thought about you when I caught a whiff of her honey-scented perfume. I thought about you when she called us a cab. When I laid down in her bed. When I touched the freckle on her left shoulder, when I brushed her bangs away from her face, when I asked her if she liked the way my lips moved when I kissed, when I tugged at the silk dancing around her thighs, when my hands brushed against the scabs on her scraped knees, when I undid her belt buckle with my teeth, when I saw that the silk of her panties matched the silk of her skirt, when I asked if she did that on purpose, and then I asked to take them off, when I moaned her name, when I called her beautiful, Weeds that hide the fallen dead, time that nullifies a name, will not bury shame. Where black earth falls back upon the place it is, it is not gone. Where the canis bloom, the bed flowers with shame. And where the red rust corrodes, and where the green meadows are, it will be seen. It will be seen no matter where you bury it. In typhooned air, it will hang, isolate and round, through mountain snow, through grass, through ground, it will be seen. Or were a grave dug in the sea, shame would rise through the soundless leagues of water, through the caverns and streaming blue, the coral and the crystal cave, it would be written in a wave. I thought about you. I used to... I used to call. I used to call into work after a night out. Say I can't come. My aunt, uncle, my second cousin, puppy, neighbor <laughs> just died.
I had a dream the other night. At least it felt like it was a dream. I was walking along a river. That's all it was for quite some time, and I remember realizing I was dreaming. I thought, wow, what a pleasant dream I'm having. And then I started to hear something. Someone was crying out in the distance. So I start running, running towards the voice until I see this person drowning in the middle of the river. I tear off my boots and I dive in and I finally get to her. I start to take her in my arms so I can swim her and I to the shore, but she pushes my head down underneath the water. And at first I'm thinking, you know, that she's just trying to hold on, but then I'm pushing and pushing and pushing against her hands and I'm running out of breath and then... And then I wake up. When I wake up, it's forgotten. Forgotten until I have the same dream the next night. And the next night. And the next night. And the next night. And the next night. I don't always remember right away. I, I mean that it's not, it's not easy to remember. You work so hard to find it like, like a word on the tip of your tongue. But even when it does finally come to you, well, that's so much worse than forgetting in some ways. There's this great willow that stretches out across the river bend, right by the dock. It's always the first thing I see when I wake up. It has this enormous knot on its trunk right above eye level, and that's where we hide the letter that tells me who I am. It reads, Dear Beth, your name is Beth, in case you forgot. This is Delia, the love of your life, in case you forgot. Right now, it's... Probably a couple minutes before five. I'm still in bed. <laughs> Our house is an old brick house with a porch swing and a folded fleece blanket under it. Uh, the one Mittens likes to land. Oh, also, we have a cat named Mittens. Anyways, up past the ravine, there's a foot trail. Take it east, then cross the train tracks, and you should see our house at the end of the street. I'll see you when I wake up. I love you, Beth.
can't help what I don't remember. I just... Haven't you ever pulled an all-nighter? That's not feasible. I, I can't just pull an all-nighter no, every I'm not, single night. I'm not asking you to. I just... I can feel you slipping away. Beth, I love you. I love you too. I'm sorry. Have you ever thought... What? I don't know, that maybe this isn't sustainable. Don't say that. But what if it isn't? Beth, we chose this life for us, not for me. You could do better don't, than Don't me. say that either! I'm sorry, what? You know, what relationship doesn't require a little compromise? Damn. I just, I shouldn't have said anything, okay? I just, just forget that I, forget that I said it. Okay. When I met Delia, it was love at first sight. And I know that scientists say that that's bullshit, <laughs> and that we're all just projecting certain emotions onto physical forms, and that in retrospect, we manipulate our own memories to make us think it was love at first sight. But when I tell you with her, it was different. Well, it was. I didn't really think I was capable of that kind of love. I mean, you see happy couples on the street, on the screen, on the stage, and you just sit there thinking, there's no way I will ever get close to even touching that. She was a friend's date to a wedding, but the kind of date that's really just the friend you want to get drunk with at the wedding. And trust me, we got drunk. She just fell into my life head first she was I mean she is an epiphany cause you know love like that love that's real I mean I think that might be the only thing that can really change us people stop smoking for love stop drinking people will grow up for love Take on some responsibility. I mean, people bring other tiny little people into this world out of love. I never really had a strong desire to be somebody special. But she makes me want to be a good person. A kind person. 
I didn't know how hard that would be. Tilt my paper crown a little to the left, dear, and cross my feet into the asphalt. Been training for a war of worlds, think I finally know which side we're fighting. Don't put on those shoes, dear, I'll keep watch outside your door, and sound the alarm with my lips pressed to yours. Soldier on to carry you up the stairs, cause you fell asleep in the car again, but I can't bear to wake you, dear. Build you up a house of cardboard, cut out those ceiling tiles. The moon won't siphon our songs tonight, so play your trumpet loud. Lead us into battle, dear, and I'll kill for you with a wooden sword for each of our fallen brethren. Coming home to you, my dear, a taste of blood and tongue and cheek, and you'll offer to stitch patches over each of my skin and knees. Button my jacket wrong, dear. Tie on my blanket tight. I may have slayed the dragon, but the demons know our name. Started out the night wishing on stars, but a dozen came and went. None of them brought that dawn, or an omen song of truce. But I didn't wish for that, dear. I wished for me and you. My backpack's getting heavy. My left shoulder beneath my right. But we'll feast like kings. With bared teeth and filthy hands. Rip into the flesh of all the luck we stored for the winter. Twice the ourselves in it and hang its head over our fireplace. Burn the books and blankets, dear. A blazing stream of light. Burn me up with beauty. Give me half the longevity. Twice, Twice the life. life. I'll tie your shoes for you, dear. Forget, Forget what you were taught, just pull the laces free and hang our hope on the telephone wires. I was never a great beauty, but I can bear to start a fight. We beheaded all the kings and queens, so let me be the knight. Wipe your tears with spit and sweat. Slit your palm across and laugh. We almost flew as victors, dear. Sleep for today. The war is waged at night.
Are you guys done? Yeah.